for the this session. So <laughs> we keep the memory of the moment. Maybe like. we can share with all the team. We have okay. a private a chat. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I'm very open to it. And it's really funny. I really want just to give you a glimpse because I don't know if you already know about it or if you heard about it, but you didn't get into it about the sacred uh, Mayan calendar. There were many, but one was the most spread because it, uh, it, uh, it uh, contains exactly 260 days. And this is the average pregnancy cycle. And with this cosmic uh, key, you can actually calculate the movements of the stars and you have the birth uh, cycle here. So it's like a fractal measurement of big cycles and earthly cycle. And it's Absolutely. really magical. It's magical. And I saw some video that uh, there are uh, like circle that turn one right clockwise and anti-clockwise, eh? like spirals. Eh? We have yes. the energy right and left. Uh, like the electrocopper spirals. Actually, you can <laughs> depict them as, as wheels, which turn yes. forever. But what they really produce is this endless streaming energy of actually of time. And yes. that's very interesting because that's my expertise uh, since the decades and it's related to everything to moving to dancing to aikido and finally now it's bridging the gap as well to electroculture and i just calculated uh, and i really want to share that quickly yeah uh, sure i i didn't have the the, the time to um, put a little bit color on it okay. but okay. you are the red crystal skywalker <laughs> and the, the, to be honest, my first, very, very, very first uh, love and uh, girlfriend was a Red Skywalker too, but I didn't know then because I was 14 years. But the first thing when I visited her first time was what was she showing to me, a world map with a lot of needles, which she proudly presented. I've been there and there and there and there and there. So these are the travelers, the Skywalkers, curiosity. Uh, a very uh, interesting keyword is uh, spaces, new frontiers, barriers, overcoming them, setting borders if needed, but it's all about space. And I often tell the people it's the Marco Polo principle. Yes, yes. So you're I a agree. Marco Polo. So you, yeah. you're in his footsteps. You're traveling the world. I travel, a lot. I, travel yeah, a lot. I know, yeah. I know, I know. And I have, um, I have from my girlfriend a map of Italy with all the sunflower of the projects. <laughs> And the uh, world with all the flags for the projects uh, <laughs> in the uh, Well, so you're definitely <laughs> on, the, on on your track, uh, Andrea. Yeah. But I don't uh, need to tell you that. But it's like a, a magical confirmation. Exactly. And just and just to complete it, yeah. in the upper part you have the the red serpent. It's uh, the representative of life force, and especially mm. as well for the spiral. And the spiral is a major theme in uh, the electroculture. And the very interesting part here is the blue knight, which is the power of dreaming. The power yeah. of dreaming, uh, like challenge, start to dream bigger. Uh, you started in Bologna worldwide, and finally we 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 give it next into the universe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and sure. this is and this is very interesting as well. It's the yellow star. It's uh, the occult power, the hidden power, which I think you can probably unlock is the, uh, the power of beauty and aesthetics. And there I might can help you a little bit in this part because as a former art teacher- Yes, I, absolutely. I, we, we love art. We love I, art, colors. You I'm, need to put uh, this part uh, to create more, more uh, artistic uh, <laughs> concept. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm really happy because I think really some magical events are like in, in front of us and some can be uh, very creatively connected and then it's it's like a multiplied force. Your network and your community, my community, kids Aikido community, so we can all weave together and then we're really gonna, gonna fly together. And that's what I actually wish for me and all my friends and especially people like you. If you're not already 
uh, flying. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm always uh, <laughs> a little bit too grounded. <laughs> too grounded. <laughs> now I need to to rest a couple of weeks because yeah. of my knee. Yeah. But it's a good time, so we can chat. We can. I can tell you what we did uh, here uh, in Italy, and then uh, you are free to apply whatever you want for uh, are you educating um, children from which age uh, more or less uh? well actually i was a former art teacher so i gave uh, art uh, and uh, how to draw how to paint all this stuff and even uh, uh, building stuff with wooden uh, stuff like this and different schools but then i realized that the school system is really fucked up so i changed to steiner school and this uh, alternative schools but three years ago, I really decided to let, to let the school behind me. And the only thing I really continue is the kids' Aikido classes. Because okay. Aikido is the way of peace. And that's okay. uh, fertile, fertile soil, the, the small kids. And they have the age from 6 to 16. Okay. Okay, so I'm telling you my experience. And you can apply whatever you want to make a experiment, proposal, uh, and you will see. Eh? So um, usually we start uh, with a very basic uh, tool like the Lakoski coil that is uh, simple, but you can create uh, uh, all the variations like uh, with metals and mm. colors. Mm. So you can start playing uh, with the colors. You can start playing with the metal combination like copper, and aluminium, uh, copper, and iron. And then you can start uh, me measuring how the people feel uh, when you, you shoot uh, the, the, the ring, for instance, in your neck. Uh, you try in your neck here. And you need to breathe to understand, to, to understand the feeling. And then you can try like a bracelet in your okay. left or right arm. It change, then you can try like uh, in in your arm here in your cintura, yeah, uh, cintura, yeah. this is okay, a like a belt, like a belt, yeah. Yeah. or you can try in the in the in the mm, nella, joints, nella, in the joints, even in ex the joints. Exactly. So yeah. you can try multiple places. Eh? Wow. Here, here it is, here it is, yeah. belt and wow. uh, the leg wow interesting and, that, yeah. and you will see that the the, the energy is changing eh? even right and left is changing if you put wow. uh, only one in the right only one in the left it will change i do um, explain our uh, measurement with a rod so i can i can oh. feel with, yes, with with, oh, with the okay, rod, okay, okay. you you can feel uh, the aura of the people. Then you switch uh, the the Lakoski ring here, and you see the expansion. Eh? When wow. you have an expansion, you have an aura increase, so wow. you you increase your your energetic field. Wow. When when you decrease, it keeping you less energy, so it's not uh, good for you. And you can test even the plants before and after. Uh, you can understand the, the energetic field of the plants before without nothing and after with the ring. Uh, and then you can play with the colors. Uh, you can play with the colors because like uh, maybe you, you love uh, a color. What is, what is your best color? What is uh, your favorite? Green. I like green. Okay, with the green your field will expand in a certain way. You try the blue, is different. The red is different. Wow. Eh? And the plants, wow. they act um, exactly the same. So first of all, you can try um, with this simple uh, device. You make it, uh, you can teach how to make it, uh, and you try in different parts of the body and in the plants. Uh, wow. You can use... Uh, the Lakoski coil also for uh, pre germination uh, charge of the seeds. Okay. So you make it, uh, you put some seeds uh, like uh, 
the, this is for instance is a uh, is wood oh. and wow. copper. Huh? I like wow, that's a nice one, Andrea. Oh, that's did you make that or uh, did someone? No, no, it's available in the market. Uh, you can oh, buy. Wow. It. This is not only working; it looks beautiful. So it's good design. Wow, I like that. Uh, and you can add uh, seeds here for one week, two weeks, and start uh, with a comparison. You have a testimonial, yeah. testimonial, uh, like a control group. No, no energy. And you start seedling in multiple pots. Eh? Yeah. Uh, you can use any seeds, but the faster, responsive are the one uh, I have uh, indicated even uh, in the workshop, in the fundamental series. Yeah. So you can use lentils, uh, uh, arugula, you can uh -huh. use uh, radish. Radish are very fast growing. Very fast, eh? yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Or sunflower normally takes uh, two weeks uh -huh. to sprout, okay. two weeks. Yeah. But with the energy in electroculture, sometimes we we have sprout after three days. Okay, well, that's a big difference. Okay, let's let's repeat, repeat, repeat that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you, you can try just uh, five type of seeds with different devices no energy and uh, always the control so everybody can see the difference that is yeah. very important and then the other devices are uh, uh, spirals okay you can make the spirals and uh, you can yeah. charge yeah, yeah. exactly like that. yeah perfect okay. so yeah. spirals with the seeds inside or spiral can be used uh, even to charge uh, water, right? If you put uh, on top okay. of water, a yeah. spiral or or like this, eh? like yeah. the Lakowski with the water. Huh? Okay. And then you can use the water for uh, for seeds, the water, even again, you can measure the aura with the rods or with your feeling, with your hands, and uh, you understand the perception of what is best for you. Uh, so spirals, then we, you can move in pyramid, pyramid. Yeah. You can use pyramid to charge uh, the seeds again and the control outside. And then you make the plantation, you make the seedling and everybody can see the difference in terms of germination rate. Because um, when we use subtile energy, uh, we impact the, the life of the seeds and they want to live more and more. They want to live. They want to show the beauty of the nature. Huh? Okay, so not too long. <clears throat> one week uh, is enough. One week, ten days. Uh, um, and this, the pyramid depends mainly on the solar storm. If okay. we have a lot of solar storm, like now, yeah. Uh, okay, it will be energized in one day, two days. Okay. And okay. you can go seedling and you will see the difference immediately. If it is a low solar storm, better to keep it inside one or two weeks. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. And uh, according to the seed, uh, uh, let's say, um, if it is an ancient seed, like a, a wild seed, they yeah. will respond immediately. Yeah. If it is a seed that is um, manipulated a little bit by human, the response could be a little bit different, maybe later. And sometimes even you don't see any difference because they lost uh, the memories. Yeah, right? they, they, they have power, actually. Exactly. I have a question, Andrea. Um, sure. um, I, uh, I just, this wonderful document, you probably know that your uh, French colleague, uh, Yannick Van Dorn, is uh, actually... Uh, uh, hopefully fulfilling his mission to create this documentary which hopefully should uh, come to cinema in this uh, in this fall and uh, when you uh, don't have done a donation you, you have received a wonderful pdf where uh, as well the activation with the magnets is explained but if i remember am i right that if you uh, if you do activate the uh, the seeds with magnets you have to do it properly and you have to uh, not to overdo it so they are not like uh, like exploding before they actually have been seeded. 
So is it different with pyramids or? Uh... Yes, it's different because uh, uh, you every seed has a range where it can be exposed. And especially with magnets, if you do a kind of overdose, you can burn uh, the seeds. The same with uh, electricity. If you use uh, too much power, you can burn the seeds. There is a certain range where the seeds can be treated. And from my point of view, I don't like uh, um, electricity. I don't like uh, too much magnetism. I prefer only natural uh, uh, energy, like uh, inside the pyramid, it's the sun with the solar storm. A spirals captures the sun. Lakoski ring captures the cosmic waves and the sun waves. So with this kind of device, we we don't have any collateral effect. We don't have uh, uh, danger. Burning houses. <laughs> uh, yeah. and, the, and this is a static, very easy to make it. Um, so then you can use the antenna or you can use uh, the um, geotherapy that is incredible. Even the, the power of the stones. We, we do a lot of uh, experiment with that since uh, 12 years. And we have uh, selected uh, the best caves uh, of minerals in, uh, in my country. And we oh. use three to five uh, different stones. And every stone is able to capture the light and release it in different ways. Okay, so um, we like crystals. Huh? They can capture the light and uh, re-emit the light based on the characteristic they have. So what we have created is a mix of stone, is a balanced mix that can work uh, in the majority of the cases. And the stone have been uh, resetted. And then we have charged with frequency of light, sound, and uh, structured water. Wow. These kind of stones collect the information and they release it in the soil to, uh, to speed up the grow of the plants. Uh, is it is it like fine powder? Uh, and no, you... no, it's uh, smaller stones. Uh, okay. you, you... And and you produce it as a as a product, and then yeah, you... yeah, it's a package, uh, one kilo, or even okay. one, ton, you... one ton, one okay. ton, one ton, yeah. and and you can put uh, 20, 30 percent of these uh, stones in your seedling box. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. That's a that's a nice. Okay, that's a powerful. Fine, the, the dispersed. Uh, exactly, you mix to, it. To crystallize, so use the crystals for. for you to mix earth. with the soil. Yeah, nice, nice. Then you put your seeds on top. Yeah. These stones, we collect the, the light and the, are pushing the life in the soil as well. Like microorganisms will accelerate the life of the soil, etc. And uh, the plant will grow faster and faster. Okay. <laughs> so okay, so okay. you can you can combine all this yeah. uh, technique, eh? like yeah. uh, you can energize with the ring and the pyramid, the seeds, all together. You can put a spiral on top. Then you prepare the seedling uh, tray with the stones, and you, you can use the 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 water, the structured water. Okay. Next week we have the lesson for water. Yeah. I will explain more than 10 uh, techniques that you can use. And this will increase again the, the um, germinability and the um, germination rate. And this is the, the, the proof that we are working in the right uh, direction. Yeah. But yeah. For me, it's very important to do a lot of tests uh, with the seeds to show the germination rate. Because life, it's... Um, it's connected to the germination rate. Eh? If you have 10 seeds and all 10, they they grow up, you have 100%. Uh, and you can test, uh, in this way, you can test soil technology. You can test human interaction. Oh, okay, eh? okay. You use this uh, as, as well for uh, checking out the fertility of soil or as well, like uh, if it's highly structured water. For instance, yes. Yeah, okay, yes. okay. Yeah, okay. Interesting. The response more seeds germinate. Okay, as a living as a living being, I don't want to grow here. 
So three, four decide I do it anyway, but the rest uh, stays uh, uh, wrapped in and says, no, I not, not like that. So this, okay, I, I really, I like this. And this is already a cool story for, uh, for telling the kids a story that the, the seedlings are really like little, little uh, dwarfs and they want best earth, best water. And if yes, boom, they bloom. And if not, they just stay home. <laughs> exactly. Or you can make an experiment with uh, five seeds on top of the Wi-Fi router. Yeah, yeah. And maybe 30 centimeter, you see it again, five seeds, one meter, and uh, five meters distance. Yeah. Eh? yeah. So you can understand how this frequency are impacting and uh, creating yeah. a different. Disturbing. Yeah. Exactly. When life is in the right um, environment, it starts. Yeah. Okay. So you have 100% germination rate. Okay. Good. It's good. Well done. Life, well done. <laughs> well done. Nice, nice. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I really liked just what you gave me is enough for a one day uh, workshop for kids. <laughs> yeah, I will absolutely. start with, yeah, with two or three hours to give them first information, turning the first spirals and preparing everything because I say I actually have chosen uh, the 21st uh, uh, Equinox uh, as a starting point for either the students, my Aikido kids and friends who are ready to, uh, yeah, to be on who, it's not about bigger, better, uh, like in the old dying world. It's about really who who uses all the supporting forces in sync so it gets the biggest tomato or banana or whatever. So everyone is invited. So 21 this year will be like a starting point for the first little electroculture wave we want to initiate here around my little hometown just that you know that's the reason yeah, I, yeah, I was fantastic. happy that we could uh, talk to uh, today so i am prepared for my next yeah. step yeah. and then this is just the beginning eh? because yeah. with the beginning we start uh, with these devices and the devices when we create the device we put our energy inside eh? and this is yeah. important intention yeah intention energy inside the copper inside the aluminium inside the when we make the mix for the plants so it's important that we we have the knowledge and we have the consciousness that we start influencing the experiment eh? oh. because at the beginning we you can play with the device the colors the material but then you need to to increase the sensibility and to work with your heart uh, with your energy with the group also, eh? because if all the group make a good intention for these seeds, and maybe you have another sample area with no intention, nothing, you can see the difference eh? in very short time. So you can play even with this part or introduce it later if the, the audience is ready. But this is the evolution, eh? human power, human yeah. interaction with the nature, understanding all the connection uh, step by step <laughs> by the way a uh, a proposito uh, connection um i wrote you as far as i remember about this uh, spiritual uh, community damanur in in uh, in your country yes did, I know. did you did you hear about them have yes. you already, have you already been there uh, i know i i i'm not been there i use uh, the music of the plant the device ah, that nice has been yeah, 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 yeah. I use I use this device I know some people I've been invited uh, to visit but I never been uh, I was so busy yeah. <laughs> in other projects yeah I, I I can imagine I I just want to share something very little I have been there twice and probably uh, uh, a lot more often because friends of us are just opening up this March in two weeks. Uh, uh, a vegetarian, vegan restaurant uh, down there. And actually the most important thing is that people come together and start talking and exchanging and inspiring uh, themselves again. So he really opens up and he has the support of the whole community. They are happy that someone brings new ideas and he's a close friend of me. By the way, 
he's a red skywalker too. That's the reason why I'm, he's <laughs> traveling from here to there. But hopefully he stays a little bit there so he really can uh, uh, get something up. But uh, the thing is, um, two things. Um, when I visited the second time uh, uh, Damanu la last August, and I, uh, my, my uh, Sylvia was driving and I was just uh, doing spirals because I wanted to put them everywhere like secret agent. So I, I, while I was rolling, I just, just remembered, hey, they are doing this copper thing since 40 decades. They just call it different, like the spiral they call Selfica. So I was remembering that they have done a lot of research and I knew that Falco, the, uh, the founder, that was his name, Falco. So he wrote something about the whole uh, thing. And when I was there, I just uh, scanned his biography to remember what it was. And then he actually said exactly the same thing. It's important that if we roll a spiral, that we are uh, not only making a, an electromagnetic antenna, but we actually, um, for we invite a, a spiral being into it and we can even communicate with it and even program it give it an intention so i just wanted to say you to say to you or reflect to you that they are actually doing the same thing just a little bit from a more esoterical uh, point of view and i found it fascinating and that was the reason why i told you you have really to go there, spread your wisdom, and I'm sure, I'm so sure that a uh, uh, magical can happen. That's one of the most important things I wanted to share to you. And just something second, uh, and the friend who opens up the restaurant has told me they have a project where they do worldwide, uh, worldwide spread. They do uh, with pendulas um, a network of trees which are like oriented spiritually, like a tree network. And I just, hey, bring me some pendulas. I go to join this group. And I just thought, hey, this is probably something for, for Andrea. I, I really like the thought. Maybe you have already heard about that, but it's like synchronize the trees and especially the big mother trees. What do you think about that? Uh, we we did a workshop with Alana Moore to be connected with the trees and the spirit uh, elemental spirits starting several years ago and uh, oh. we, we we normally uh, have uh, one um, we have one uh, workshop every year this year will be will happen in June 14 and 15. And we do these kind of things, explaining how you can connect with tree, with spirits, how you can do co-design co with them for your garden, for your place. And uh, you can interact with multi-dimension uh, yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And and the radiesthesia open this interaction yeah. because um, you should have the sensibility to feel something uh, that um, is coming from another dimension and uh, we we use it uh, is part of the journey i did and i'm teaching i'm because in the academy electroculture is only one small part uh, of the approach we have a big holistic approach including uh, geobiology that's very important the energy of this earth uh, of the the sky cosmic energy sun energy then we have uh we have free energy that is a uh, another chapter of um yeah a lot of, of exploration uh, for a red skywalker yeah exactly and then yeah. we have uh we have um a radiesthesia like uh, technique to investigate and to uh, to to understand uh, investigate and uh, have some, um, let's say, line that you can follow. But again, uh, at the end of the day, we, we want to see the results. Yeah. I'm only, <laughs> only result-oriented on yeah. what okay. is happening in the material world. Of course, we have a lot of uh, spiritual connection, but I don't uh, talk too much about this uh, with yeah, my yeah. students. Uh, especially online, I, I talk uh, in person. Okay. okay. So, so we have this this part uh, that is developed in person, and is including all the spiritual part. When you put together all these 
elements. Uh, okay, you have a very big holistic view, yeah. so you can uh, understand immediately the ecosystem. You can make analysis, uh, even physical, chemical, energetic analysis, but you can understand exactly what the ecosystem wants, uh, what the plants want, and you can act uh, to increase the, the, um, the energy flux, the energy harmony of the place. And when the harmony is coming, all the life will increase, the biodiversity increase, and the plants will grow bigger and so on. Uh, especially when the farmer is conscious of this uh, uh, power. Right? Be yeah. Because yeah. If not, it's unconscious, unconscious power. Maybe uh, yeah, exactly because it, that it's unconscious. It's not fully empowered. It's it's all logical. yeah. Otherwise, uh, it doesn't work. It's yeah. not working. The the if you have a speculative, a speculation approach, yeah. you want to take uh, for business uh, only. Yeah. It's not working, and uh, yeah. and the project uh, will fail. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And so, so it's not so simple. <laughs> yeah. It's not just uh, putting a ring uh, in a plant uh, or an antenna. That's why we want to teach uh, more and more, uh, and we want to give the consciousness of the relation we have with the nature. And this is why we introduce more topics. Huh? That uh, yeah. takes time. And yeah. we are doing all this uh, with um, Mikael and Daniela in Sonnenschmied. With Peter, yeah, actually, I happened to know them already last year. Uh, I was uh, at the Sonnenschmiede because uh, he is quite popular with his uh, sun dryers. So I knew from that uh, years ago. And then finally, uh, through my uh, uh, partner, I could, because she knew them already, I could um, enjoy uh, for two days his, uh, well, actually, it's a very beautiful and very um, green or greenish garden and i saw of course everywhere spirals so now i know uh, how uh, you're connected and that you probably one of the reasons why there are so many uh, spirals <laughs> yeah we did uh, many workshops and we yeah. this year we have a big program and yeah. then the the article in nexus uh, are, are uh, now out of the market so yeah. we will do workshop in germany yeah. So Peter is in South America now, developing uh, some farm and other holistic place uh, uh, in South America. So he will come back. Which, uh, which Peter, Andrea? Which Peter? Uh, Peter Rettemund. Uh, oh, Galeron. Rettemund, yeah. Gal he's Galeron, yeah. Galeron. Yeah, okay. So you, actually, that was would have been one of my questions. Uh, if you are already connected, of course, you know the other people around Matt Roske in the US, but probably you are not yet with all connected. So in no. Germany, here in yeah. Europe, you know, I'm the not most connected important. with all. I know some, and uh, unfortunately, in some cases, every everyone took his own uh, road, and uh, it's not easy sometimes to collaborate uh, because yeah. we have different vision and. Yeah. Well, I actually, um, <laughs> I, I didn't tell you so far, after the, the, the next symbol, after the Skywalker is, by the way, the wizard, the white wizard. So I am a white wizard. And that means after exploring all this new stuff, like Marco Polo, he brings all the lot, uh, stuff back and he gives it to the magician and says, do something with it. So that's the reason why if you give me some copper coil, I do some crazy things with like that. This is like a magic stick. You can program it to catching dreams or flies without killing them, whatever. So this is this is my expertise to, to really create some new fancy ideas. And what I'm really loving is to connect and bring people together. And my three themes for this year is my own soul mission. This is bringing the wisdom about the sacred cycles uh, among the people. I do that uh, since 20 years. Um, second, uh, in the in the afterflow of this Maya uh, wisdom comes the cacao, because I uh, I really think that cacao is helping a lot of people to uh, getting grounded and actually reconnect with their own uh, nature and especially with the nature out there. And as I already wrote you, uh, in April we are going to visit in Guatemala our cacao farm to. Uh, yeah, to talk about the future, and I'm so excited. I already told Andreas, 
hey, check out if there are copper wires. We need a lot of them. So <laughs> I really want to do coils. Lakovsky, I, I, I will. I want to. I want to grow the biggest copper yeah, but ever. If you have a lot of trees, uh, don't need to to use only one single device per tree. Eh? There are, yeah. like you see, there are large scale device. We can do a program, a project together. Yeah. I have a customer that is a very small uh, cafe shop. It's, uh, it's working only with little uh, farm in Guatemala, Paraguay. Okay, that, okay. That uh, there are small farm, like three, five, six, uh, hectares they work 20 families and is helping uh, this kind of farm and uh, we do um uh, charge of the coffee with pyramids we do oh okay okay and so the, the, because we can we can use the energy even in the transformation preservation not only oh. in, in the oh. uh, not, thank you andrea for inspiring me uh i i even if I already, believe me, uh, experimented with the pyramid 30 years ago because my papa had this pyramid power uh, book and I was so interested. And I uh, asked him to help me to uh, create one. First, we, we made it with paper, with cartoon. But yeah. later, I, I tried everything with copper. And I actually, when I was 13, 40, 20s, I actually didn't have the idea about uh, working with seeds. I just tried to dry uh, fruits to yeah. serve them. And that was my only focus to show the people that it works. But uh, yeah, uh, now with the seed and preservation of the cocos, it, it's it's. Thank you for exactly. this. We did. We did thank for, you for this precious idea. We yeah. did for coffee, and so it's a special coffee that is uh, oh. very. Uh, let's say it, it works uh, with local people to to help uh, small family village and. Is not a is not a multinational company. It's really ecological, uh, organic, and uh, all that and, beautiful. Yeah, and yeah. and so we, we have all these opportunities, and uh, we can we can do a project together if you want. I can do the consulting. I can help um, because there there are a lot of tips and tricks. Uh, there are more than fifty different approaches. We can use uh, and depending on the size, on the plants, uh, on okay. the place. <laughs> um, Andrea, well, then I pro uh, I uh, just a proposal. We will be the first ten days after arriving there. That will probably be from the first April to the tenth, and then we are traveling and visiting Maya uh, uh, pyramids. Ruins. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. So the first 10 days probably we are on the farm and we want to film and take a lot of pictures because I want to make a little documentary to support the whole stuff. So we have plenty of work if you're not just chilling in the hakama, uh, hamaka. But um, if you are, because the time shift... Um, uh, it, we, can it, do, it, we can do a, a Zoom, Zoom. Uh, like now. It's afternoon. It will be morning in your Super. place. You, you give me the time zone difference okay. and we play. Yeah, and we which play. I, I present you uh, the man who is really, uh, and it's really, we are really working together with father and son. Father is an original indigena, he's a Maya, and his son has studied agriculture. So the father has the land, the son has new wisdom. We bring our wisdom, and now we bring this, uh, the, 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 the spirals. And mixed all together, we can really create something, uh, I think, uh, wonderful. Super, super cacao. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, good. So, one question, one concrete question. Um, if you come the first time uh, at the end of March uh, to the Sonnenschmiede, we are already in the flight to Guatemala, so we won't see us there. If we wouldn't, I have been, uh, I would have been in the Sonnenschmiede. But as far as I see, you uh, come back at the end of June. Yeah, there are many uh, workshops. One is in May, okay. then uh, then June, then uh, uh, August. Okay, oh, okay. So all 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 the time in the Sonnenschmiede. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, these okay, are in the okay. Sonnenschmiede. So then in April I will be in Germany, and uh, in June again I will okay. be in Germany. So Andrea, concrete question: 
if you travel, especially to Switzerland, and it's really, it's just 15 minutes from here, the Sonnenschmied. I live now with Silvia, very close to them. So it's very uh, close. And if you travel anyway to Switzerland, would it be possible, it's just a question, to uh, ask you for coming maybe one or two days earlier so I can even do uh, like a lecture, an evening workshop or uh, afternoon and evening and even do a little kakamo, uh, kakamo, uh, kakao, ter not ceremony, ritual. So we drink very consciously a cup of cacao. We join together, we exchange. Would that be possible maybe at one or two of these uh, later dates? Yeah, we try. Okay, we give you, I give you the possibility to to meet. For of course, uh, maybe yeah. when I come back, I stay half a day. What is necessary? Yeah, and we we have uh, the cacao ceremony. And you explained me my Maya Skywalker Marco Polo <laughs> store history. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now, and uh, now, so. This video is recorded just to explain that we can work with children, we can work with yeah, with yeah. farmers, with people, and you 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 got the the fundamental course. Now we are missing one lesson. We'll be next week. And uh, how, how do you feel uh, with the workshop online? <laughs> I, I actually I did already uh, yesterday uh, a written feedback because uh, the last two days I was really flat on the mat so I don't want to do a video without not being 100% so the video will come. Uh, I really liked it so far and to be honest water has been a, 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 subject, a subject in my life as well since more than 20 years. To be honest I call myself Aquari Urs. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so it, it would be fun uh, next week. Uh, yeah. So I'm actually really, it. I wrote it already in the feedback. I'm really, I'm, and then really, I mean it really. I enjoy receiving high frequency information from high frequency beings and listen to a subject I already know a lot or enough. And to hear it from another perspective, connected with other subject, co uh, with other uh, personal ties, it's for me like uh, having instead a, a Hollywood movie. I enjoy Andrea telling me about the mystery of water and even deepening my own understanding. So I'm even even more curious than even before because normally I think I have read and learned a, a lot of uh, of water, but there is really, water is a mystery and we are water. So we are all a mystery to each other and probably especially to ourselves sometimes. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So Jose, it was uh, very nice to talk to you. I hope you got uh, new ideas to develop. Yeah. Don't hesitate to, to contact me. You have one last question. You know, exactly. <laughs> uh, the thing is, um, I um, I can offer you helping you uh, upgrade your uh, presentation, PowerPoint presentation. That's an offer I can do as an art teacher. This is uh, one of my uh, digital expertise. I don't do it a lot, but if I do it, I like it. And since I'll, quite a lot of years, my first presentation was for last Friday, was an electroculture presentation. So I can help you here a little bit out. And the second thing is, I happen to receive last Friday when I was working uh, at our culture oasis, a young woman came in and she said, I don't know why, but I, I need to talk with you. And then, okay, okay. And then she uh, uh, realized that the Permaculture General Association has the annual meeting just in my hometown in three weeks. And I said, hallelujah, this is exactly what we need. We need to bring electroculture into it. I offered it to it. And yesterday <laughs> she said, I Googled and I didn't find enough uh, proof that this works. And they say, hey, no, 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 it works, Pat and so, but she uh, declined. So because I know one of the major themes uh, of the of the organization heads. And uh, my question is, do you have already connection to the permaculture movement? And if not, I could help you to connect because if electro uh, permaculture yes, uh, is already we, existing in Italy. Yeah, we, we, have the, we have the connection because uh, Sonnes Mide was a very big uh, permaculture uh, center. Eh? 
and uh, when we try to combine like every everything there are people scared there are people that don't believe uh, okay so okay. i i never insist uh, jose okay. because if something happen you see when it joined it go flawless okay. uh, no problem uh, I will do lot... one more try. I will do one more try because I really know Christoph uh, Beatrelli, who is since 20 years in this association. I will give another uh, uh, but if I get an echo, I give my best to connect. And if no, uh, Switzerland uh, has to wait a little bit uh, till these two movements come together. I believe uh, he was invited uh, in one of my first workshop uh, by Michael and Daniela in Sonnenschmidt, uh, probably was there, but yeah. no problem. You you do your, your, your trial and you see if okay. you have an echo, let's go on, <laughs> otherwise. Yeah, okay, okay. I just and... wanted to share it because I was really like, wow, that's really a nice coincidence. Um, but sometimes the universe makes a twist. So I don't want to force things, but if it's possible, we all uh, have uh, something out of it. Yeah. Good, so if anybody wants to contact you i can leave your contact in my in my youtube channel uh, for for what exactly you you can provide education for aikido or uh, creative stuff uh, is it okay for you yeah and i will send you my german uh, presentation and if you like it and you say i want to have something similar i am your man <laughs> okay thank you hey <laughs> I really wish you a very, very quick uh, getting back full force. And I'm really looking forward to enjoy you next Monday. Yeah, see you soon, Aquarius. See you soon. Thank you. Ciao. Bye, Andrea. Ciao, Jose.